Tonight we look to the skies, where the world's most advanced machines soar above us, connecting continents and cultures in ways once thought impossible. For decades, two giants, Boeing and Airbus, have defined the very landscape of commercial aviation. Their name synonymous with progress and ambition. Their fierce rivalry has fueled relentless innovation, pushing the boundaries of safety, efficiency, and design, and shaping the very planes that carry millions of passengers across the globe every day. But as we approach the end of 2025, this long-standing duopoly is facing its greatest challenge yet, a test that could redefine the future of flight. New contenders from China and Brazil, like Comac and Embraer, are determined to break into this exclusive club, bringing fresh ambition and new technology to the table. The rise of these ambitious players could transform what was once a two-horse race into a truly global multipolar competition, with far-reaching implications for international trade, technological leadership, and high-skilled jobs. The commercial aircraft market, valued in the trillions of dollars, is more than just business. It's a symbol of national power, industrial capability, and technological prowess. As the battle for market share intensifies and new routes open up, the question looms large. Can these newcomers truly disrupt the dominance of Boeing and Airbus? Or will the established giants adapt, innovate, and hold their ground? Tonight we'll journey through the history of this rivalry, examine the current state of the industry, and look ahead to the uncertain future that awaits all the players in this high-stakes game. The story of who builds the world's airplanes is entering a new and unpredictable chapter, one that could reshape the skies for generations to come. Stay with us as we unpack this global showdown and discover what the future holds for the world's most important industry. To understand today's rivalry, we must look back to the 1970s. Boeing, with its iconic 707 and 747, once ruled the skies unchallenged, but Europe responded by pooling resources to create Airbus, launching the A300, the world's first twin-engine widebody jet. Airbus's bold innovations, like the A320's fly-by-wire controls, ignited a fierce competition with Boeing's 737. Over decades, this rivalry pushed both companies to deliver safer, more efficient, and more comfortable planes. Other competitors faded away, leaving Boeing and Airbus as the last two giants in large commercial jets. The immense cost and complexity of new aircraft cemented their duopoly. By the 2000s, the market was almost evenly split, with each company mirroring the other's product lines. This head-to-head -head battle defined the industry and created a stable, yet fiercely competitive environment. But now, that stability is being tested as new challengers emerge. The narrow-body jet market is where the real battle for dominance in aviation takes place. This segment is the industry's main battleground, shaping the future of global air travel. Planes like the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 are the workhorses of the skies, handling the vast majority of flights worldwide. Together, they represent over 80% of all commercial aircraft sales, making them the backbone of airline fleets everywhere. In this fiercely competitive arena, Airbus has surged ahead with its A320e Neo family, which now commands an impressive 54% of the global order backlog. Airlines are drawn to its fuel efficiency and reliability, making it a favorite for both established carriers and budget airlines. Boeing's 737 MAX, which once dominated the market, suffered a major setback after two tragic crashes and a worldwide grounding. This crisis allowed Airbus to solidify its lead and forced Boeing to work hard to regain trust and market share. Today, Boeing holds about 35% of the narrow-body market, a clear second place, but still a significant player with a loyal customer base and ongoing new orders. But the fight for supremacy isn't just between these two giants anymore. The landscape is shifting. China's Comac has entered the fray with its C919 jet, already claiming 10% of the global narrow-body order backlog. This rapid rise is fueled by massive state-backed orders and strong support from Chinese airlines. While the C919 is still mostly confined to China's domestic market, its growing presence signals a real threat to the long-standing Airbus-Boeing duopoly and hints at future global ambitions. Meanwhile, Brazil's Embraer, with its E195E2, has carved out a respected niche. Its efficient jets are ideal for smaller routes and regional airlines, adding another layer of competition to the market. The narrow-body market is now more crowded, dynamic, and complex than ever before, 
with new players and shifting alliances constantly changing the game. The era of a simple two-way fight is over. The future of aviation will be decided in this crowded arena, where innovation, reliability, and global reach are the keys to victory. While Airbus leads in narrow bodies, Boeing dominates the wide-body market, twin-aisle jets for long-haul flights, Boeing commands 59% of the wide-body order backlog, thanks to models like the 777 and the innovative 787 Dreamliner. These aircraft are the backbone of major airlines' international fleets, cementing Boeing's stronghold. Airbus competes with the A350 and A330neo, holding 41% of the market, but has struggled to unseat Boeing's dominance. The end of the A380 marked Airbus's retreat from the largest aircraft category, leaving Boeing's 777X as the leader for high-capacity needs. This split, Airbus ruling narrow bodies, Boeing wide bodies, defines the current duopoly. But even Boeing's stronghold isn't immune to change. A new force is rising. China's Comac, with its C919 jet, aims to break the Western duopoly. Backed by the Chinese government, the C919 is now flying commercially and has a massive order book from state-owned airlines. China's goal is clear, replace foreign-built planes with homegrown ones, and capture a quarter of its domestic market by 2042. But the C919 relies heavily on Western components, making it vulnerable to geopolitical tensions and export controls. Its biggest hurdle is international certification. Without FAA or ESA approval, it can't compete globally. For now, Comac's ambitions are largely confined to China, but its rapid rise signals a new era of competition. The duopoly's grip on the world's largest aviation market is no longer guaranteed. While Comac targets the core market, Brazil's Embraer has thrived by mastering a niche. Embraer leads the regional jet sector, building planes ideal for routes too small for Boeing or Airbus. Its E-Jet family is a global success, especially in the 100.125 seat range, competing with the Airbus A220. The E-175-E1 faces no direct jet rival, giving Embraer a commanding position in its class. This focus on niche markets has made Embraer profitable and resilient, especially in the US. With the E2 family, Embraer is pushing into the lower end of the narrow-body market, offering airlines more choice. Embraer proves that smart strategy and innovation can carve out space even in a market dominated by giants. It's a formidable player that can't be ignored. A historic shift, Airbus has overtaken Boeing as the world's most delivered commercial jetliner. The A320 family has now surpassed the Boeing 737 in total deliveries, a milestone decades in the making. The turning point came after the 737 MAX crisis, which halted Boeing's deliveries and allowed Airbus to pull ahead. While Boeing works to recover, Airbus has managed supply chain challenges and maintained a higher delivery tempo. Today, more A320s are flying than 737s, reflecting Airbus's dominant market position. For Airbus, it's a symbol of its rise from underdog to global leader. For Boeing, it's a stark reminder of the challenges ahead. The numbers confirm a new reality in the skies. The race for dominance is far from over. What does this shifting landscape mean for the future of global aviation? The skies are changing, and so are the players vying for dominance. Let's hear from an industry analyst to get a clearer picture of what's unfolding. We're witnessing the most dynamic transformation in the commercial aviation sector in the last 50 years. Airbus has taken a commanding lead in the narrow-body market, but Boeing's dominance in wide-body jets and its deep engineering expertise ensure it remains a formidable competitor. Boeing's current strategy is centered on regaining stability, restoring its reputation, and rebuilding trust with airlines and passengers alike, while Comac's C919 is both a political statement and a commercial project, with strong government backing guaranteeing its success within China's borders. The real challenge for Comac, however, lies in reducing its dependence on Western technology and components and in achieving the rigorous global certifications required to compete internationally, a process that could easily stretch over a decade or more given the complexity and scrutiny involved. Until then, the C-91T's influence will be largely confined to the Chinese market, where it is already starting to impact Boeing and Airbus sales, shifting the balance in one of the world's largest aviation markets. Meanwhile, Embraer continues to thrive in its specialized niche, providing airlines with highly efficient and flexible options at the smaller end of the market, where neither Boeing nor Airbus has a strong presence. 
The future of the industry isn't quite a big three scenario yet, but rather a traditional duopoly that's now facing increasing pressure from China's ambitions and a strong, innovative niche player in Brazil that continues to punch above its weight. Don't expect to see all new revolutionary jets from Boeing or Airbus in the immediate future. For now, their focus is on incremental improvements, upgrading existing models, enhancing fuel efficiency, and integrating new technologies. The next major battleground will be the race to develop sustainable, next-generation aircraft in the 2030s, as environmental concerns and new regulations reshape the industry. For the time being, the competition is all about ramping up production, flawless execution, and the gradual, but steady, entry of new challengers into the market. The rules of the game are evolving, but remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Success will require endurance, innovation, and adaptability. The structure of global aviation is more complex and interconnected than ever before, promising an exciting and unpredictable future for airlines, manufacturers, and travelers alike. The world of commercial aviation stands at a crossroads. The Boeing Airbus duopoly faces unprecedented pressure as Airbus claims a historic victory in deliveries. Boeing leans on its wide-body strength while working to recover in narrow bodies. But the cast is expanding. China's COMAC, with state backing, is a direct challenge to Western dominance. Its impact is already felt in China, the world's largest aviation market. Brazil's Embraer proves that smart, focused competition can thrive, adding complexity and choice for airlines. The story of who builds our planes is entering its most compelling chapter yet. Competition will drive new technologies and shape the future of global travel. The battle between titans and challengers will play out in factories, air shows, and airline boardrooms worldwide. The future of flight is being forged today, and it promises to be a thrilling journey.